Welcome back to my channel. It's Brittany from the Aquarium. Today we're making the Beachcomber Pouch by Needle and Anchor. Um, and this specific video is part of a whole YouTube marathon. Um, I have the first slot. Um, so whether you're watching it like on the marathon day or down the road, thank you for joining. Um, make sure you check out all the other videos too, even if it is down the road. Um, so I did mine with the gusset. I use this super cute print that is coming up soon from So Dulce for the Halloween in July round. I used my villainous thread from Wizardry for the first time. It's super cool. Uh, yeah. Oh, and I lined it in lilac. I know, who am I? I don't even like purple. <laughs> uh, anyways, it is super fun. Um, I did not top stitch because my vinyl was a little thick and I just didn't want to struggle. And also my recessed zipper panel is, uh, or my perky zipper panel is a little too wide, <laughs> but it works. It's fine. I did the, uh, zipper tab at the end. I did not do the anchor um, or the wristlet, but it's fine. Uh, it's a really cute pouch. It's not too difficult to make. Um, the front little accent is super cute. You could do it on the back, but I chose to accent um, or highlight just my fabric. Anyways, I think that's about it. Thanks for having me in the marathon, um, and I can't wait to watch everyone else's videos too. Have a great day. All right, before we sew, we're going to go over our pieces. We have our zipper end piece, and then this is our front panel. We have this piece, our angled pieces, and our top piece. We have our back exterior, four recessed zipper panel pieces, our lining pieces, our lining gusset, our exterior gusset, zipper tape and pull. I've decided not to do the connector piece or the strap. I'm just going to make it as a pouch. Um, yeah, it's not too difficult. So let's get started here. So the first step is this, the back of this is like sticky, <laughs> uh, not sticky, but like the texture is grabbing. Okay, so these pieces are the same. If you have um, a directional print though, be mindful, but they're gonna get lined up here. On both sides. And then we're gonna stitch those down. Make sure your presser foot is down. There's one side. Just throwing things. <laughs> Oops. And then we're going to press these up and top stitch. And you're going to top stitch on the exterior piece. Or sorry, we're not doing that. We're going this way and top stitching on the exterior center piece. Which is nice too because I used vinyl and I don't have to fold over the vinyl. At least for me. Looking cute already. 
Okay, now we're going to take our top band and we're going to line that up to the top here. Right sides together. And we're going to stitch that. Okay, so this one we're going to fold the top band up and the seam allowance toward the top band. So now we're going to be stitching through all of that when we top stitch. This is the first time I've used this thread. It's so cool. Hi, George. Okay, um, this is probably where I want to decide where I want to put my nameplate. Um, I am doing black nickel. I don't know if I want to just... It's going to kind of blend in there. I don't really want to block Mew's little cute hat, though, so... I guess my nameplate can take a back seat to Mew. <laughs> um, let's see here. Uh, five, I've noticed I can just poke holes with my awl, usually. Hi, George. <laughs> he was sleeping for like the longest time. And then he decided to get up and uh, be in the video. I feel like um, half the audience comes to watch the cats anyways, so thanks, George. Alright, so name plate is on there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our gusset and we're going to mark our centers. Which is something that I definitely could have done when I cut this out, but I didn't. All right, and then we'll need to mark our center on this piece as well. Okay, you have to go, sir, even though you're so cute. Okay, so you're gonna match your center marks up here. this down some and match our tops up well our ends up I guess clip there some and then go to the other side So here, what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to cut a couple of notches just because it's close to fitting, but it's, it's just not quite there. All right. So I think if I just do some tiny notches. 
And I mean like tiny. I'm way out of my seam allowance. Oh yeah, that's gonna work great. I like to clip as close to the curve as I can get, like the straight sides on each side, and then go into my curve. Uh, you do want to be mindful to the seam allowance in the pattern because it does change around. Just a heads up. So now we're gonna stitch around this. are not bad. Uh, you can um, use pinking shears on these curves, but since I already cut those slits, I'm not going to worry about that for now. Alright, and then we're going to repeat what we just did to attach this um, back exterior piece. So I'm going to mark that there and then start um, clipping it all together. Alright, so center to center. And then it's like doing the straight piece first. sides. Um, keep in mind if you use um, a stiffer vinyl, like I, like this is a little thick for this, maybe. It, it's fine. <laughs> it's not a problem, but just be mindful um, of what materials you use based off of like what machine you have and everything. So I'm going to snip my vinyl again. the curve.
You just want it to line up as best as possible so that you don't get like a pucker. Okay, and I'm trying to think which way would be the best way to sew this. And I think I'm going to go like this. From this side. The um, other side I, I went from the gusset up. Okay, you just want to make sure that when you start, they do match up. This side is a little bit harder than the first one because you already have that whole piece there. Um, you could staple this too if you want. Curves like to be tricky. Just have to take your time. Go slow if you need to. definitely using a tool like an awl or you can use um, a little screwdriver too if that helps. And I'm trying to get my vinyl with this as I go. Let's see here. Oh, I actually worked out pretty good. Not too bad. All right, so we are done with this part of the exterior. And we're gonna work on the lining. So basically what we just did with the exterior, we're gonna repeat with the lining. Um, we are going to leave an opening to turn the bag in the lining. So centers, center, center, and do up your seam allowance for the lining. Oh, George, he's back. What are you doing? All right. Um, you can, no, leave my thread alone. You can, uh, <laughs> you can conclude. He's very offended by, like, the colors of this thread. Like, there's nothing wrong with it, but it's, <laughs> it's a variegated thread. And he's just kind of, like, tapping the code. He, he's never done this before. Um, you can notch this, but because it's the lining, um, I'm not going to. George, leave my thread alone. Okay, sir. <laughs> I don't know if it's because, like, 
the cone is like dark black with like the purple, but then there's the neon green. I don't know if it's like the neon green like spots that he's like, oh, what's this? Okay, so on this part, you start with the same seam allowance as the exterior and then you increase it. So like I said, make sure you're paying attention to the seam allowance in the pattern. is the lining so if it isn't the most gorgeous it's the lining still do your best but you know So for this next piece, this is where we're going to leave this opening, pretty much on the whole bottom. So I'm going to clip it in place and then go over here and here. And what I like to do to remind myself is I like double clip. I don't know. It works for me. Maybe it can help someone else. Alright, so clipping down this side, down this side, and then using our corners as best as we can. And then sewing that together the same way we did the other side. Remember to start your seam allowance to match the exterior. And then you can go in after that. pucker there. Oh, it's not that bad. It, again, it's the lining. I didn't really take my time in the graves there. Okay, so this we can use our pinking shears and that will help this. Now George is on the other side of the office just really getting into stuff. I love him. He's rotten. Poor Donut learned it from. <laughs> Alright. Lining is done now too. We get to work on our recessed zipper panel. Or, I guess, um, she says you can do the zipper end first. Um, I don't normally use fabric zipper ends. Uh, so let's see here. Line an inch down on both of these ends. Okay. Hold both sides to the center line and 
chakras. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, fold these. Okay. So we're folding these down. Um, she says you can use a glue stick. I don't have patience for glue to dry. So. This is what we're doing. Okay. Now everything gets folded to the center. matches up. Okay. And then this gets folded and the zipper goes in here. Yes. Okay. The inch line, fold them in, fold it in, and then, yep. Okay. So we need to figure out how long we want our zipper to be. So if this is our recessed zipper panel, which gets folded in a little bit, I think about here is good. Uh, there's a measurement in the pattern. I just uh, did not read it. I mean, I, I, I just didn't look at that part. <laughs> is where the zipper end. Okay, well, do we want a certain side? I guess it doesn't matter. We'll just top stitch around here. And you want to make sure that you're catching the back. go this way around a box. It's so weird. I don't know why I did that. Now I'm just going to go across this part one more time. We have to take this end then and we need to fold over these ends at 90 degrees. You can, um, you can make marks to measure it, you can pin it, you can clip it, you can um, base this together. I like the method of hoping it melts together and I don't burn my fingers. Uh, yeah. Sometimes it works. Okay, and you want them to be even. My only problem with folding these is even if I clip them or anything, I have such a hard time making them even. 
and like on this side folding it down is just like awkward for my fingers. I don't know why. Yeah, see? It does take some practice for sure. Once I fold them down, I can make them even. All right, so for recessed zipper panels, um, she does do these a little bit different than how I do them. Um, in the pattern, you can click a spot and it'll take you to a video of how she does it, but I'm going to go ahead and do them the way I do them. Apparently the cat's knocked something over. So um, an inch from the edge, make a mark on both ends of each piece and then using double-sided tape put some right at that line on both sides to that line on each piece. So now that we have those ends folded, um, if you have um, if you have an exterior and a lining, if that's the way you cut it, you're gonna want to make sure that you have that worked out. Okay, I was looking to try to figure out where mine was. Okay, so I want it to kind of match up. It's not gonna be perfect by the time. The zipper is sewn on but it'll match at least a little bit uh, so I want to keep in mind that that's how I want that to go and so this is gonna match up here so that when it folds out and then this will match up here hopefully I don't mess this up okay so we're gonna take our zipper and I like to put it kind of right where the fold is. And we're gonna put that together. I wish I hadn't put the zipper pull on so far. I like to just keep it at the end and then it's out of the way for this. And then you clip all the way to the end and then I don't care which of these other two pieces goes where. So I'm just going to line it up, clip it together. And 
Yep, they should uh, line up on both ends. Okay, I'm going to stitch this on. And I'm stitching all the way across. Make sure your needle is down when you lift your presser foot to move your zipper pull out of the way. to fold this open on both sides and we're just going to top stitch all the way around. So what I like to do is I just clip this side and especially this it's like a skinnier zipper panel so I'm going to clip together the raw edges lining them up all the way down and then I'll stitch this first and then I can kind of just tug gently for the side that's next to the zipper. And you can always press it too if that if you're more comfortable doing that. Okay. So this is where I'm gonna start giving it just a gentle little tug. And then you want to make sure that when you are pulling on your zipper, it's even everywhere so that you don't get a ripple. everything we just did for the other side. Alright, and let's see if I do this right. I almost don't think it mattered because it's going to be such a tiny piece, but that's okay. Um, so that came undone. What I'm going to do is I'm going to line up this end first so that I know for sure that my zipper matches like it's lined up the whole way because if you start down here you might end up with it not matching down and land right there. So what I'm going to do is just fold it right here and clip it and then it's fine. Alright, now we match up this other side just like we did. And should match on both ends. Sew it together. And then just like I did on the other side, I'm going to press these open with my fingers and then line up this raw edge first.
And remember, when you give this a tug, make sure it's nice and straight. Our recessed zipper panel is done and see, mashed up pretty well. <laughs> okay, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna center and baste this to the lining. All right. Um, and she says it might help to open the zipper all the way. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark my centers of my zipper panels. And I'm going to mark the centers of my lining panels. Okay. So, we want this to be right side up to one side of the lining. Okay, so right side up. Well, I have a problem. Why is my zipper panel... My zipper panel is too long for my lining. It's literally longer than my lining. Interesting. I don't think that's going to work. I might be able to make it work, though. It's going to be... A little bit interesting okay so in the pattern she tells you what your zipper panel should measure um, you should probably make sure it measures that uh, before you continue <laughs> I hope mine <laughs> works I guess we'll find out see this is why they gave me the first spot of the marathon uh, this way you can learn what not to do first you're welcome. Oh, goodness. All right, so we're basting this on. And getting our thread caught. Oh, all right. We are really going to find out if this works. I think it's just going to be cramped. Okay. And then doing that to the other side. Basically, mine are going to like match all the way up. It's going to be real interesting. Um, so mine was like an inch too long. Yeah. They basically line up on each side. We will figure it out. I have faith. Yeah, they really do match up all the way. Worst case, it just doesn't look the grace and I have to keep it. Or my kids get it. <laughs> Seems to be the like, motto of everything I do. Well, gotta keep it. Um, so it is a little bit more difficult for me to do this too because uh, they go all the way to the edge instead of having a gap.
All right, so see, there should have been like more of a gap on each side. But again, we're gonna make it work. Okay, I just wanna make sure that this is, okay, it's good. Yeah, it's gonna be real interesting. I think I think it's okay. It it'll work. Okay, so with the lining wrong side out, fully unzip the zipper, place the exterior right side out. Inside the lining. I hate putting the exterior in the lining because the exterior is always bigger, but I didn't make the pattern. I don't have any say. I mean, I do, but I could do it the other way. Anyways. Oh, this is going to be so cute. I think this needs to be tucked inside of here. Alright, so with the lining fully unzip. Exterior, front facing, closest to you. You're putting it inside of here. Okay, with the open pool on the right, yes. Okay. So, now we are going to line this all up. And I'm just trying to figure out how I want... To try to do my seams because that vinyl like I said is a little bit thick I like to just give a little tug so that everything matches up and clip both pieces little tug get this matched up okay so we're stitching all the way around Just, alright, it should be fine. I don't think I can split them open because the seam allowance is too small, so hopefully this works and nothing goes wrong. It should be fine. For real. Um, you could use an awl to do this also. Make sure everything stays lined up. Okay. I'm just gonna back stitch a little there because of all the layers. And I broke my thread. <laughs> When I said there was layers there, I meant it. I think maybe if you used vinyl for the gusset, if you used like a woven um, there on that top band, it would eliminate some bulk.
So now we're going to turn the bag through the hole in the lining. Everything looks good. Almost matched. <laughs> I did that on accident. Okay. So, now we need to close our turning hole. I was going to use a... Pokemon tag that I think I'm gonna do main con may contain spooky shit. <laughs> okay, so fold these in together like so. And then I'm going to push this inside the bag. And smooth out the curves. up on this panel you want the lining down panel up and then you top stitch around this part but I don't know if I want to and the only reason I say that is right here is just so Thick. I don't think it's going to look good. I think once I get my cylinder arm tension fixed, I might attempt that. But for now, I think it looks fine. Plus, I'm going to be kind of close to my nameplate. I probably should put it down a little bit. So, I think I had made my marks like three-fourths of an inch up. Probably go about half inch up. Uh, if you're doing the trap connector piece it goes right here and you'll rivet it on um i if i decide i want to use a wristlet with it i can just clip one onto my pop tab pool but there you go uh that is the beach cumber pouch and i almost didn't mess it up <laughs> just need the curvies uh thanks for hanging out with me i hope you enjoy i think i just really need to shape this a little bit better here uh, but it's a fun little pouch. It's not too difficult. Um, I like the little accent. And you could do the front the same as the back if you wanted to. It'd be really cute. Um, hope you enjoyed again. Like I said, have a good day. Bye.